AVA Sports, sponsoring live stream action for contenders. What's your fight ending submission? Very calm and collected, but he does possess that amazing power. Yeah, he's surprisingly powerful if you look at his frame. He's kind of long and lanky, but he does pack a lot of power, as I say. And a lot of that is catching people on the end of combinations. He throws combinations beautifully. Nice work by there by Birdie. He went to move out and came back in, and as the kick was initiated from Cell, he got real close and landed that punch, knocked him off balance. But it shows that he's very quick and precise with his footwork. Yeah. Hey! Big head kick there from Ben Sell puts Purdy on the on the floor. Purdy now he's got to recover. He's got to use this count to recover. He seems all good, and we're back on. Sell now has got to smell blood. He's got to work out of this corner. He can't give time to Jack because every second that passes he's recovering that absolutely you see Cell again he's being composed that's what I like about him he's a really composed fighter he's not just going all guns blazing you know he's hurt the guy he's not going to rush in there and w risk walking onto something himself but he's clearly still dangerous to get still throwing punches as you see there catching with a long right hand Jack Purdy looking for the combinations on the oh, inside yeah. beautiful team from Ben Sell. Push kick to the face. You see Purdy's man bun is coming out. And how that's going to affect his vision. Jack Purdy now looking for a way in. Switching the stances as he moves back. Very interesting technique there. Just be careful about whilst he's switching, he's not throwing anything offensively. He's to switch that stance up and blast those kicks or punches in as he moves back. Good first round, very interesting. Cody came out firing. Sell, see if we can see this head kick again. Sell coming in there, he's gauging the distance with his lead hand there. Look, South Paul. There's that big head There's kick. There's the kick. We saw, we saw Jake Carroll with a head kick a couple of contenders ago. So it's something that 
works for him. He goes to he can land. And for Purdy, we see, we see that's going to be a 10 8 round. Favour the champion. So Purdy now four rounds to make his mark. Contenders 19, K1 action. Dean Midhat here on the mark with Mike with Mark Heath. And we'll be calling the action throughout the night. Round two. Purdy blitzing forward. Nice knee there from Purdy. Oh, hey, hey. Going toe to toe here up against the ropes. And some good shots there, some good right hands on Sale, but Sale just ate them. Purdy pressing forward now. But he's using this game plan, he's going to shut Cell down. Cell works the best while he's calm and collected and he picks his shots. He's smothering his work. But he needs to start tidying up these hooks. They're coming from quite a way out and Cell's able to see them and get his hands up. He can change the angles. Not so wide and come straight down the pipe. Purdy could have some success there. That's exactly right, Dean. Ben Cell is at his best when he's fighting his pace of fight, which is keeping it long, giving him time to put together those combinations but Purdy's making it uncomfortable for him here pressing forward putting him in the corner nice work from Sell there to get out throw the teeth again to the face Purdy's trying to trying to draw Sell in I love the way he steps back draws him in then closes the distance oh, instantly yeah. but we've got a low blow here unintentional and Sell saying sorry there I mean both these fighters don't want to go out like that and Jack will have time to recover Take a quick look at the replay here, some of Cell's handiwork. Nice oh knee yeah. there, but that's where it landed. That was nice. Or Did some damage. Just low, yeah. <laughs> Purdy's back to his feet. He's got time. That can really, I mean obviously that wasn't a deliberate strike, but that can really suck up the, the, uh, the cardio, the gas tank, something like that. You can see if Cell goes to the body now. This is what Purdy wants. He wants Sell in the corner. And he had that distance to fire the shots off. Sell using the clinch to nullify, throwing in the knee. That one went nice and high. And Purdy's come out and has to fight for this title. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's fighting, he's giving it his all. Looks like Sell's cut above the right eye there. Could have been from a head clash. He's trying to get oh, out of the clinch. That was a good knee from Purdy. Sell. Gonna regain his composure, push forward himself. Oi! Nice right hand, left hook. Purdy again with those knees, and that's that's awesome. That looked like it hurt Cell there. He winced over for a bit. Let's see. Oi! Nice right hand as well from Purdy. Good round this from Purdy. Purdy's, Excellent. Yeah, he's found his way in, and in those exchanges, he's not just flurrying with hooks to allow Ben Cell to clinch. He's firing that knee in which is giving Ben more to think about. And he's closing down in the corner really well. He made a great point in that last round, Dean, which is exactly the, the game plan for Purdy's working. Is you don't want to give Ben Self the time and space to work his combinations, his languid, sort of destructive fighter, when he's fighting his fight at his range. Purdy's come forward, he's making that fight in a phone box on a postage stamp, really making Self work every second of that round. See here, look, pushing him against the ropes, blitzing him. And that was effective in that round. Interesting to see if this pans out in the same way. If it does go to the judges' scorecards. Nice catch there from Purdy. And again, he closes the distance into the corner. You see Purdy's had his hair put back into a more effective man bun. Round three. And this is scheduled for five two-minute rounds because it's for the belt. So they've got more time to work. Absolutely. Again, Purdy look, making it uncomfortable for Cell. Really pushing forward. Damn. Fast hands. Purdy using the ropes there to initiate the teeth. Nice body shot from Purdy. Right body shot landed. Again with the right hand to the face of Ben Cell. He's landed a few of those now in this fight. It's an effective weapon for him. I love the way he scores as he comes and he's really leaping forward. And as Cell stands on the outside, he's forced to Ooh. deal with Purdy. Nice left hand there from the southpaw stance, but again, Purdy just charges forward. Pinning Cell in the corner, going to work. 
So now in the corner, he's got to be thinking counters. He's just not being given time, though, is he? Nobody's all over him. He's got to stay on the outside. Keep the jab out there. And then look for the uppercut or the straight right hand. He can't keep forcing his hips back like that. When he moves back, he'll, he'll, he'll pull his hips backwards because he wants that head movement or to fire the rear leg. But he needs to be more bouncy on his feet. Just getting a warning about the hold here. I think the feet down the head, he's warning both fighters there saying, Oh! Hey, Teep to the face. Now this is good action. And so now able to create some angles, but finds himself in the corner again, looking for the for the clinch and the separation, and gets it that time around. Cell looking for the head kick. And I wonder if Purdy heard that from Cell's corner, because immediately he teeped. The classic defensive to a kick as you teep your opponent and knock them off balance. I think we're going into the championship rounds here. And this, I have to say, Cell's never lost. This might be the most adversity he's faced so far in his career. A tough and a game opponent in Jack Purdy and he looked into the eyes of Ben Sell as he went back into his corner. Very interesting. Purdy certainly come with the intention to rest this, wrestle this title away from seven champion Ben Sell. Beating his career so far, been very impressive. But Purdy's really making this uncomfortable for him. See here from the replay that Sell is just trying to get off but he's forced into that mid-range. Nice knee and then head movement on the outside. But again, he's forced to close range, fighting in the phone booth with Jack Purdy. That's exactly it, isn't it? It's, as I say in MMA, he can dictate where the fight takes place. And that's what Purdy's doing effectively at the moment. He's having it at the range that he wants it, which is up close and personal. Ben Sell can't do his best work when he's being smothered like this. Two rounds. Let's see who wants this more. Round four. Again. Let's see if Cell now can keep that distance, keep it at long range. Nice, he needs to work his footwork. So as he's struck, he's done damage to circle out and gain that distance that he wants. Again, look, Purdy's pinning him to the ropes. He's throwing all sorts of shots at him. Keeping him working every moment of the round. Lovely, that switch knee. And he skipped back out of the danger from the punch of Ben Cell. Purdy now growing in his own confidence, growing in his techniques, and I believe that he is the stronger fighter in there. Absolutely, I think he's growing in confidence, he's growing in belief. He believes now this fight is going his way. And again, he charges forward, he puts Sell on the ropes. Sell throws a nice left hook there. Purdy comes again, pins him back to the ropes. And that's what I'm talking about, Jack Purdy. He's stronger in that clinch, he's able to force his weight forward. Initiate that clinch. See, Ben Sell needs to circle out of this corner. Avoid the ropes. He can't accept that clinch. He needs to fire the one-two uppercut. Roll out. Change the angle. Head kick. So we caught a bit low there, but he says it's all right. Let's go. True champion. Sell now looking for the clinch. This is not where he wants to be. Again. I love that kick, man. He went up, and Purdy just saw that opening like it was an open door, ran yeah. straight through it. Purdy oh! Purdy is really impressing his will here on this fight, pushing Sell back. And I believe he's frustrating Ben Sell. Exactly that. I think, as I say, oh, that low. was very low. And that's one each on the low blows. Yeah, one for one, tip for tap. But that is still going to hurt, even though you got the cut there. This might actually be a good thing for Ben Sell though, because he's, he's been forced to fight at a pace he's uncomfortable with. Let's see if he takes full advantage of this time he's got to recover his composure. Yeah, that was definitely low. Yeah, just I come across the body at an angle. I hope, well, we have to see replays of those all the time. I yeah. like seeing that. Painful to watch. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but Sell will get time to recover. The time has been stopped. You ask the ref how long. So it makes me wonder, like you said, I wonder whether he's collecting his thoughts, regaining some of that oxygen debt, and he wants to get back into this fight. Yeah, it's a, it's a convenient break for him. Absolutely did the right thing by taking all the time, though. Straight back to it. Nice low kick, stumbles, Purdy. 
Again, big knees been exchanged, but Purdy is the one pressuring. Oi! Beautiful work. Again, but we can say much more of the same. Jack Purdy pressuring, dictating the pace, initiating the clinch. But Benzel's doing a good job of firing those knees in the clinch, but he just simply must not be there. He needs to circle off, work the combinations on the outside, and pivot round. Absolutely. He's got to get out of the, uh, of the corner, he's having his back to the ropes, because that is really smothering his work. You wonder how important that knockdown in the first round could be in the scoring of this fight, though. 10 8 round to sell in that first round. Could be absolutely crucial as we go to the fifth and final round with the, the fight for the title very much in the balance. The same momentum is with Purdy at the moment. Let's see what Sell can do. The champion never lost. We're about to see the first defeat of his very, very impressive young career. Benzel, a veteran, you could argue, in the striking realm, and he's only 18 years old, but Jack is 17 years old. Yeah, and he's, he's got a very strong bo uh, kickboxing background as well. Amazing to see. Round five. Oy. Again, Purdy's just imposing his will on, on Sell. So with his back against the rope, he needs to stop doing that. Again, he's Oy. been forced into the combo with that beautiful one too. Purdy changes stances, looking for the body, looking for the knee. He's just all over Ben Sell, isn't he? Like a rash. Smothering his work beautifully. Now, this is where Sell needs to come to fruition. Oh, yeah, and knee on the inside. And this is where, as you say, Sell, this is where he wants to be. But again, Purdy just closes the distance, shuts Sell down. Sell needs to swallow this that he wants to... Oh, oh at home! Oh, there's a knee to the head. That was a, that was a count, man. Yeah, I don't know if that was to the head of the body. Couldn't see from this angle yeah, it to like try and hook that up on the replay, but that definitely dropped him. And again, a count, and that's going to be absolutely crucial. That's two counts now. Sellers first force 30 to take. That's going to be crucial in the scoring. Now Sellers going to go to this body. Watch him hammer this body. There we go, there's the knee. Purdy looking for a way in, but he's like he's kind of like holding his mouthpiece out. Yeah, I think he's tired. He's actually backing up for the first time now as well. That must have taken something out of him. Punched to the stomach like that, or knee to the stomach, as we think that was. Yeah, that shot to the bread basket is definitely going to take his toll. Hey, what a fight this has been. Lived up to the hype, lived up to the billing. Back and forth war from the 17 and 18 year olds is unbelievable. The youth and the experience on the flip side. You see it at home, ladies and gentlemen. And you want to give this a try, get to it. It's never too late. Hey. It's knee there from Purdy. He's just able to drive forward. Use that clinch, use the power and his weight to his advantage. And that was a that was a closing to a really exciting back and forth fight. But we could argue that Jack Purdy could have Toll the gold mark. Well, I don't know, as I say, that those counts are going to be key. Sell took the first round 10 8. We've got 10 8 in the final round. Purdy won the middle round, the middle three rounds. I think Sell's just going to have done enough. Take a look at the replay. The separation begins. Purdy again swarming in. Like you say, he started to back out there. That, that could have been from that knee shot or perhaps the cardio, but ultimately. We will go to the judges' scorecards here. Contenders 19. Very, very interesting to see how this pans out. Purdy proved himself a very worthy challenger for the title. deliberating here so we see a very very close call on the scorecards we've been tightening them up just to our left here some intense discussion going on Wendy Miller head judge 
And uh, I love it when Wendy's when he's judging because you know it's done right. He, he's got a clicker and he counts the strikes. Unbelievable. He's a jiu-jitsu black belt as well, so very experienced martial artist. Suffolk's only jiu-jitsu black belt, I believe. I've got to see that fight again. It needs to be a rematch of that. We see here Ben Sale presented with the contender's belt. Retains his title after a very hard fought fight. That will be one to watch next time. Keep yourself posted.